Hello everyone. A very good morning to all. Hope you are ready for today's problem. So let's take the problem. Draw the isometric projection of a combination of cylinder height 30 mm, diameter 90 mm, and triangular prism side 40 mm, axis 50 mm. The triangular prism is resting on one of its rectangular face on the circular face of the vertical cylinder and centrally. Axis of the prism is parallel to both HP and VP. Here the combination is of two solids, cylinder and triangular prism. The first solid cylinder is vertical. Vertical means the cylinder is resting on its circular face on the HP. So one of the circular face or base of the cylinder will be on horizontal plane and the axis. Vertical means axis is perpendicular to HP. And on the upper face or upper circular face of the cylinder or upper base of the cylinder, second solid triangular press is resting on its rectangular face like this. And for the press is resting on one of its rectangular face on the circular face of the vertical cylinder, right? So the rectangular face of this prism is resting on the circular face of the prism and centrally. So the center, center of this rectangular plane or center of this rectangle will coincide with the center of the cylinder or center of the upper circular base of the cylinder. And axis is parallel to both HP and VP. The axis of the prism is parallel to both HP and VP. So from the first center to second center, an imaginary line called axis is parallel to VP and parallel to HP. So this is final position. Now first of all, we have to project the cylinder, cylinder of height 30 mm and diameter 90 mm in vertical position. So we have to start from the horizontal plane of isoset. We will project its bottom base first and then we will project upper circular base and then on the upper circular base we will start the work projection work of triangular prism. We know that for projecting cylinder, first we have to start from its circular base. So first is we have to project the circular base and the helping figure for the circular base will be a square of same diameter. So from the isometric projection of the helping square first of size 90 mm. So we have to take ISO 90, marking limits of ISO 90 along first and second isometric axis. And then drawing lines parallel to first and second isometric axis. Parallel to first and parallel to second isometric axis from these two points. Okay. So these are four corners of the helping box or square. Next from all these four corners, one line is parallel to third or vertical isometric axis. This is height and the given height is 30 mm. So in we have to mark limits of ISO 30. So going lines, vertical lines parallel to third isometric axis or a length of ISO 30. And then joining all four corners, we get upper square. Now, on the upper face or upper square, we have to project the circle. So, using four center method, first step. Drawing lines or joining opposite corners, diagonally opposite corners. Next, we have to mark all four midpoints of the square. These are midpoints. Okay. Next step from corner to opposite midpoint. So, drawing lines from corner to opposite midpoint, corner to opposite point again from midpoint, opposite corner. And from midpoint opposite corner. 
दिस इज माय फर्स्ट सेंटर सेकंड सेंटर थर्ड सेंटर है फोर्थ सेंटर नाउ फ्रॉम फर्स्ट सेंटर दिस इज द रेडियस From second center, this is the radius. Third center, third radius. And fourth center, fourth radius. Okay. Again, repeating the process. Marking midpoints of the bottom base. Midpoint of first side, midpoint of second side, midpoint of third side, and midpoint of fourth side. Again. Diagonal. Okay. Then from midpoint, opposite corner, midpoint, opposite corner, and midpoint to opposite corner, corner to midpoint. This is first center, second center, third center, and fourth center. Now for bottom base, only front or frontal portion of the circular base will be visible. So we know that from this point to the diagonal, a vertical line is going to represent its generator. I'm uh, sorry, yes, generator. So from this point, this is radius up to the diagonal. Then from second point or second center, this is the radius, and then again from third point, drawing a vertical line up to longer diagonal, and from the center, this is the radius. Okay, so this is complete projection of the cylinder resting on its circular base on horizontal plane. Next one, center lines. Passing through all midpoints for upper base. And for lower base. These are midpoints. And from midpoint to midpoint. And solid axis joining. Both centers. So this is complete projection. Now the triangular prism, triangular prism, is resting on its rectangular face. So the rectangular face of the prism is resting centrally on the upper circular face of the cylinder. So on first and second isoaxis, first we have to mark the limits, limits of this rectangle. And we know that the side is 40 and axis or length of the generator is 50. So from the center along first ISO axis, we have to mark limits of 25, ISO 25 and ISO 25. From the center, ISO 25 and ISO 25. And here along second center line, ISO 20 and ISO 20. These are limits of the face. Now from these four points, first, second, third and fourth, drawing lines parallel to first and second axis axis or parallel to center lines. And parallel to second center line also. So this is the rectangular face of triangular prism, which is contained by the circular plane or which is resting on the upper circular plane or upper circular face of the cylinder. And we have two corners of the triangle or two corners of the triangular face. Next is we have to draw a helping figure for triangle also. So, the size is 40, drawing the regular triangle of size ISO 40 right and 
and then drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to first base side. This is my first base side from all corners passing through all corners of the triangle. And then we have to locate the center also. So from center to opposite midpoint, drawing lines from center to opposite midpoint, common intersection point will be the center. Forty. Y and Y dash. Now we have the helping figure, helping figure for the triangular base or the triangle. These are three corners of the triangle and these are four corners of the helping figure. Out of which these two corners of the triangle and helping figure, these two corners are already marked on the base. So from these two corners we have to draw lines perpendicular to the base or parallel to third isoaxis. So drawing line, vertical lines for a length of or for a length equals to height, height is y. So from this point, y, y, and then completing this face. Again repeating this process for the second base so from these two points point lines parallel to third or vertical axis and the height is equals to y okay and then join in these two corners so this is the helping cuboid for the triangle now marking corners of the triangle, first corner, second corner, second corner, first corner, last, third corner. This is the corner. So the third corner of the triangle, say these corners are A, B and C. So from corner to C, this is the distance from corner to C, again from corner to C. This is the third corner. So we have all points on corners of the first and second solid. Now drawing dark lines for all visible sides and generators. For the triangular bridge, this triangular portion, first base is completely visible and these generators are visible generators. showing all visible sides and visible generators of the triangular prism and then we have to show visible portion visible part of the cylinder upper base and lower base So this is the final projection, where the prism is resting on its rectangular face on the upper circular face of the vertical cylinder and centrally. Last showing centers and drawing solid axis. So from the center drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to different space side. These are the limits, first limit, y dash, y dash, so these are four points from where central line will pass through and this is the distance from midpoint, from midpoint. So these are the final points.
right center lines and joining these two centers drawing solid axis okay next dimensioning for dimensioning the height of the circular slab or cylinder is 30 diameter is 90 diameter and for press the side is and generator for height is 50 50 40 30 and I are 90 last direction of observation the axis of the prism is parallel to both and HP and VP so this will be the direction Last color code for all light work or construction work. Two is pencil, please use two is pencil. Here we have used pink color for all naming and access. Please use H pencil, white color. And for all visible outlines, please use HB pencil. Here orange color is showing the dark visible portion for the Solid. Now I request you to please draw this problem in your sheet, indicating direction of observation, do all dimensioning, write headings of these two figures and if you have any problem, any doubt regarding this problem or any other problem in engineering graphics, please write your doubts and comments in the comment section. Thank you.